Hello guys! Good evening sa inyo lahat. Isang malamig at maulan na gabi. Maraming maraming salamat sa pag-click ng video na ito. I really really appreciate it. So without any further ado, let's get into the content. I am back ladies and gentlemen with another unboxing and review. Pero this video is different. Kasi hindi ito yung typical na high-end or top-of-the-line peripherals. This is a budget keyboard from Thunder Robot. Ngayon, mapapaisip kayo, what is Thunder Robot? Thunder Robot is actually a Chinese brand para sa mga peripherals ng no? mouse and keyboard and also actually para sa mga laptops. And also Thunder Robot is a sister company of Makinai. So thank you so much Ruby and to Thunder Robot team for reaching out to me and sending me this keyboard. I really really appreciate it. Now guys, let's proceed muna sa unboxing nito. Ayan. So guys, uh, this keyboard nga pala is the Thunder Robot KG 3104 Mechanical Keyboard Glazed Illusion 104 Keys RGB Light Bar Neon Mixed Color Backlight no? Ang haba naman yun <laughs> Ang haba So Thunder Robot KG3104 na lang Yan. Pwede na yun. So wait, bubuksan ko muna So guys, wala siyang Ano, hindi siya nakalagay sa ano tawag doon? Bubble wrapper or anything. Sana hindi na damage yung keyboard sa loob. Pero sa labas naman, hindi naman siya mukhang na-damage. No, na yupi yupi lang yung box. Pero, ayan, tignan natin. So, ayan. This is the keyboard. Ayan, kung may kita nyo. Ayan, mag-focus ka. Ayan, kung may kita nyo, diba, yupi yung box. No, medyo nagkaroon ng dents. Ayan. Tsaka dito. Ayan, kung may kita nyo, UV yan. So, um, yeah. Buksan muna natin to. Tignan natin kung ano yung nasa loob. Baka hindi pala yung keyboard yung nasa loob. <laughs> so, ayan. Pagbukas natin ng box, ayan yung keyboard. So, ito yung color white version. Kasi dalawang version nata to. Isang black, isang white. So, um, nasa akin yung white. So, <laughs> Yung nakalimutan ko to, actually nakalimutan ko na white pala yung um, binigay, ibibigay sa akin. So yeah, sa loob ng box, nandito yung keyboard. Tapos wala nang ibang nakalagay pa. Tapos meron user, sa loob ng keyboard, nandoon yung user manual. Ayan, so hindi natin kakailanganin yan. Buksan natin yung keyboard. Ayan, this is the grab sobrang puti. <laughs> Puting puti yung keyboard. So guys, ayan na yung product. Ayan. Ngayon naman guys, pag-usapan na natin ang specs nito. No? Pero bago natin pag-usapan yan, gusto ko lamang sabihin sa inyo guys na please do follow me on my other social media pages na yung Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram kasi nagpo-post ako doon ng mga updates na hindi ko pinopost dito sa YouTube channel ko. Lahat ng links guys ay nasa description down below. And also guys, nga pala kung nagustuhan nyo ng content so far, please do hit the like button. And also, kung gusto nyo yung mga ganito klase ng videos, please consider subscribing with notification bell on para sa susunod na gagawa ako ng ganitong klase ng video. Updated kayo. So, without any further ado, guys, ito na yung specs. Meron itong 8 preset gaming lighting effects at 9 magical lighting effects. Gumagamit ito ng Red Thor TR Shaft or Switch na branded only for gamers with 50 million keystroke lifespan, 12 multimedia shortcut keys, wired connection mode with USB type A 2.0 cable interface, Full keyboard, which means it has 104 keys in total, 455 millimeters by 134 millimeters by 34 millimeters. That's length, width, and height. At tumitimbang lama ng about 810 grams. Now, guys, since this is a budget keyboard, I am not expecting any high-end performance or any high-end features dito. Pero guys, gusto ko pa rin malaman no, kung paano ito mag-perform in a real-world gaming scenario. So, ano pa ba ang gagawin ko? Kundi, maglalaro ako ng Valorant, no, siguro one game of Valorant, titignan ko kung, kung kamusta ang performance nito. Not gonna lie, yung um, Thor na switch nito, yung shaft, is katunog siya ng mga Cherry, ng cherry MX Red. So, ayun. So, titignan ko yung performance nito. Maglalaro ako, teka lang. So, uh, ayun guys. Um, susubukan ko muna yung keyboard ngayon na ikita ng laro ko ng uh, Valorant. So, isang quick game lang muna ng Valorant. One game lang naman. Kung saan kung makikita nyo, ito yung keyboard. And, tatestingin ko ngayon kung pamusta ba yung performance na itong keyboard.
And now guys, I am done playing Valorant dito sa keyboard na ito. Masasabi ko na this keyboard is okay. No, no, no interference, no latency problem, hindi naglalag. Sobrang responsive naman ng keyboard. And the build quality, yes, since this is a budget keyboard, um, the build quality is not that great. It's all plastic. Pero, yeah, katulad na sinabi ko, this is a budget keyboard. So, honestly guys, katulad ng sinasabi ko, I am not expecting anything big from this. Kasi, well, um, katulad na sinabi ko, this is a budget keyboard after all. Pero ang masasabi ko guys, when it comes to aesthetics, yes, definitely approved siya para sa akin. Color white peripherals, no, or components, sobrang lakas ng dating. Kasi, ang linis niya tignan. Huwag lang maalikobukan or madudumihan. Kasi, well, mahirap na linisin yon and halatang-halata na agad yung dumi. So, for the conclusion, guys, masasabi kong this keyboard is definitely worth it. For the price of, get ready, no? For the price of just only, just na only pa. <laughs> for the price of only 2,499 pesos or basically 2,500, well, so, sobrang sulit. Worth it na worth it. Yes, para sa iba, mahal pa rin ng 2,500, no? Pero considering na yung mga features na ino-offer na itong keyboard na to, na halos same, no? If not totally the same sa mga high-end keyboards, well, bakit ka gagastos ng 8,000 to 10,000 pesos or more, even more, kung meron namang mas mura, no? It gets the job done. Literally, guys, no? Almost 80%, if not more than, ng mga features sa high-end keyboard ay meron dito sa Thunder Robot KD. G3104, diba? And of course, syempre, wag natin kalimutan na this keyboard is color white, meaning this is a neutral color, and also it has RGB lightings para mag-fit, no, doon sa gaming setup nyo. So guys, kung gusto nyo tong keyboard na to, click nyo lang yung Lazada link sa description down below. Add to cart nyo na, bayaran nyo na, bilhin nyo na agad kasi sulit to. <laughs> so, that is it for the video guys. Maraming maraming salamat sa pananood. And once again, thank you so much Ruby and Thunder Robot team for sending me this keyboard. I really really appreciate it. So guys, as usual, kung nagustuhan yung video, please hit the like button. And kung hindi nyo naman nagustuhan, kayo na bahala dyan. You can do whatever you want. It's a free country. Also guys, comment kayo sa comment section down below. Let me know kasi gusto malaman. Anong kulay ng keyboard nyo? No? Meron mang kulay yung keyboard nyo? Color white ba or color black? Kasi usually, ayun lang yung dalawang kulay ng keyboard. Pero meron iba dyan, red, or gunmetal gray, or gray, depende. So, let me know sa comment section down below. Also guys, subscribe ka dito sa channel kasi napakarami pang tech-related videos as well as unboxing and review. Also, PC building videos coming out very, very soon. Once again, my name is CJ and magkita-kita tayo sa susunod kong video.